Hello there. What is the difference between dawn phenomenon and smoji effect? Dawn phenomenon is a morning hyperglycemia due to normal nocturnal release of counter-regulatory hormones, glucagon, epinephrine, cortisol, which increase insulin resistance and blood glucose levels. So, in dawn phenomenon, there is morning hyperglycemia due to normal nocturnal release of counter-regulatory hormones. Let me highlight it with the highlighter. There is a dawn phenomenon I'll use with highlighter. There is a morning hyperglycemia due to nocturnal nighttime release of counter-regulatory hormones. Glucagon, epinephrine, cortisol, which increase insulin resistance and blood glucose levels. As compared to smoji effect, there is always remember rebound hyperglycemia result from excess exogenous insulin. We are using insulin from outside resource like injections, which cause hypoglycemia. Our night and stimulate the release of counter-regulatory hormones, which in turn increase in blood glucose levels. So here we have to remember there is a rebound hyperglycemia and in dawn phenomenon there is already normal uh, release of counter-regulatory hormones. So the two ways you can remember like in dawn phenomenon there is release of counter-regulatory hormones which increase the hyperglycemia which increase the blood glucose levels but here we are using excess exogenous insulin so what we have to do in dawn phenomenon we have to just increase the NPH insulin increase NPH insulin and in smoji effect smoji effect what we have to do decrease the NPH insulin let's remember in other way that in dawn phenomenon we all we have already morning hyperglycemia so we have to increase the dosage of insulin but in smoji effect we are already using excess exogenous insulin so we have to decrease the nph insulin injection dose let me give you another example here is blood glucose level which is like going down so there will be a rebound hyperglycemia those counter-regulatory hormones they are increasing the blood glucose level like here and here is glucose is already hyperglycemic like goes like now morning hyperglycemia so here is counter-regulatory hormones which are increasing the blood glucose level so what will be smoji effect Moji effect will be here after when there is a hypoglycemia so there is a rebound hypoglycemia hypo to hyper and here already hyper so we have to increase the dosage of insulin so that is the difference between dawn phenomenon and smoji effect thank you so much for watching please subscribe